Being blameless is not being faultless. God has got plans to make you, not to break you, to give you hope and future. God called Abraham and said, be blameless, walk before me and be blameless. If you look at his life, no succession, he had no children, no progression, 99 years old, he was heathen, he had no connection with God. What does it mean? Being blameless is not being faultless. Faultless means defectless, perfect, impeccable, accurate, spotless, sinless. God is not expecting you and I to be sinless, perfect. He's not expecting you and I to be spotless. He's not asking you and I to be perfect, impeccable. And if that is so, God is not expecting us, then how can I be perfect? And how can I expect my spouse and family to be perfect? How can parents and children be perfect? How can anyone around us be perfect? In the midst of hopelessness, in the midst of growing challenges, in the midst of post-pandemic, you and I, we expect everything to be perfect. If God is not expecting us to be perfect, how can we be perfect? Yes, one thing is sure, I am perfectly imperfect. There's so much of fault in me, so much of challenges in me, so much. God is saying being blameless is not being faultless. What does it mean being blameless? Walk before me being blameless. That means God is saying you acknowledge me. That means trusting him, lifting his name high, trusting in God's faithfulness, trusting that God is a mighty God, that he is the source of all resources. I pray today that you and I will walk blamelessly, trusting in God for all good things. He had no children. He was 99 years old. He then he had no relationship with God. He was unfaithful. But God chooses to remain faithful. When you and I we seek God, God has got plans to make you, not to break you, to give you hope and future. So if you turn our heart, not sideways, not backways, but upways, upward. When you begin to walk with your eyes on the Lord, the scripture says, when you trust God, He will supernaturally come and make a provision. Where there seems to be no way, there'll be way. Where there's things crooked, He'll make straight. Things that are rough edges, He'll smoothen. Where your valleys and mountains, He will move all of them. Why? Because He loves you, He cares for you. God has got plans to make you, not to break you. So my prayer today, like Abraham, Let's walk in His presence. Let us be blameless, not necessarily faultless. Being blameless is not being faultless. As Abraham, listen to this carefully. Abraham began to walk before God. God blessed him, son Isaac, Jacob. And you see the lineage, son of David, Jesus Christ. And now you and I. Can you imagine one man, when he began to walk with God, being blameless, God empowered him, God prospered him. That seed became a tree. The tree became a dense forest. I want to prophesy over you. Job 8 and verse 7. Though your beginning has been small, but the latter end of your life shall be far more greater. When you make a decision today to walk before God blamelessly, I'm telling you, Holy Spirit will never leave you nor forsake you. You will see the blessings of God that makes you rich and add no toil. Be blameless and not be faultless. God bless you.